suck it up i mean you're going to play a land there are still going to be social distancing requirements especially for you who as far as i know didn't get a shot when you could i literally saw you tweet about it and then you said oh i think i've got covid wow well, <laughs> dead, bro. What a shot. Yeah. Wow. No, I, I you got, think you've got, you've got great eyebrows, Dapper, and you're f good at the game. Uh, let's talk a little bit more about uh, Reykjavik. Uh, <laughs> as, um, the first news that came in was, it was good. Uh, yeah. We saw that Riot sort of said, hey, um, yeah, about Breeze, okay, we're, we're going to take it out of the map pool here um, because there's not much time uh, and there's like a quarantine period and travel. Yeah. There's not enough time to practice a new map. So uh, obviously this is a great decision. Why the fuck was this in, it happened in the first place? Like my concern is that like no harm done really um, because like it, no one's gameplay got affected by it, but no offense this should be objectively it should be clear that this is a bad decision from the get-go uh, i don't know why you need to i don't know why you need to poke Iceland. the fucking sleeping bear of all the pro players in the world and let them get pissed off publicly before you do this like this really should go without saying for for a company like riot games who is their bread and butter has come from esports and creating narratives around esports and creating esports circuits and tournaments and memorable events like sorry you guys are definitely better than this I mean, oh, I got it. Look at these fuckers. Look at these fuckers just looking away like, oh shit, please still ride. No, 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 My dog jumped on me. It's not me. It's not me. I'm, I'm <laughs> absorbing it because I'm actually, I'm, a, I'm from the school of like, because I, I was thinking of, of, of both hands because we've had a very similar situation already from the ignition series over the summertime leading up to first strike because the ignition series pretty much happened every like two weeks, three weeks, a month or whatever. And then, yeah. They still came out with Icebox for First Strike. And it was, it was not used terrible. at any of the qualifiers until First Strike came out. It's like, hey, surprise, we now have Icebox in a rotation. And I didn't hear anybody complain about that at that point, right? And they still played the map. Envy got a fucking 12-0 on a half against uh, Immortals on that one, too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, maybe, maybe it takes away from the quality of the gameplay, potentially, because there's not enough practice going into there, where now competitive integrity that sense uh right makes sense right but i i i wasn't opposed of having a new map and uh being like a month before masters just because that was the formula for first strike but if i put myself in the shoes of a player a hundred percent i i get their point of view because no. you finish masters one two weeks later you're already you're already trying to qualify through the whole bracket like everybody else into uh masters two by by stage two challengers one so there's no practice time for that too. Now that you finally made it, we just finished regionals. Now you have two weeks okay. of practice. Technically, they finished regionals last weekend. They would have two weeks of practice breeze going into Masters. So I do get that from that point of it view. They sense. have to be a little bit better for Riot yeah. to find a better time. There, there are some regions that haven't qualified everyone yet. And we're, what, two weeks out? It's true. It's true. Yeah. That, that's the thing, though. Like You got to look at it this way as well. Like This year is really big for marketing. Like They really want to push Valorant out there. And look at, look at the chat. Look at the chat. My man, Alex. Shout out to Alex. I want to breeze for Masters 2. This is something that every viewer, every viewer wants to see. And no one complained about Icebox, just like Van Sully said. Even after the event, no one complained about Icebox. We, we mm -hmm. memed it. We joked about it. So they were thinking, hey, if we could get more out of it, then let's just let's throw in a new map for the next Masters event. And that's the way it was. I'm happy that they listened to the pros because yeah. that shows the direction of the esports. I think, um, yeah, absolutely. Um, what I think, though, is that, you know, like, it, 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 yes, it does sort of show the direction of the eSport, but also they didn't make that decision in the first place. So, yeah. like, I'm sorry, like, it does boil down to them not thinking it through properly. I hate to, to say To be fair, they, they, like did, they did have the whole icebox thing. So it's kind of like, if you don't get punished the first time you do it, then how do you know it's wrong still? Because you shouldn't be a dumbass because you know how to run esports because you've been but, doing but it for no years, one said you know I mean? anything though. It was okay. Icebox came and we praised it. The moment it came up on the map selection screen, we fucking went hype. And that was a really fun map to watch at first because the idea of it. No one, nobody, nobody at right. the time said Icebox shouldn't be That's, played. What's Riot doing? The, the stakes, like, the oh, stakes people, are people higher are than the stakes are gonna keep getting higher. So these the, these decisions 
like the the fallout from these decisions will get worse if they're if they're not made by paying attention to how how players deal with it and like chat's pointing out it's not just the fact there's a new map but it's also the way the veto works is completely different so in theory you it's not just about learning breeze you actually have to add another map to your pool in general yeah because yeah it's big. in fact yeah like because you can't you can't necessarily ban out all, all the maps you don't want to play anymore like this is this is fine but there's a lot of implications to this and as the stakes get higher the impact of these decisions made thoughtlessly will only increase i don't think this is news to riot i think they kind of know this well, well and good and there's a ton of stakeholders here like there are for example people in chat saying i wanted breeze so, okay fair enough uh, you know yeah, that, i can see why you would want some, some new spice but mm -hmm. i think all the teams need a minimum of a month a minimum of a month to get Uber. to get a map and that's, there's that's a bigger arbitrary. problem there's a bigger problem you're not talking about because it's not just maps like yeah they're throwing in a new map for an event but the thing is we just got done talking about viper we just got done watching breach when he got buffed like what half a year ago during a really important qualification time i think riot needs to sit down and there has to be a conversation about when we implement major meta changing buffs and new maps that we need to give the players time to adjust because getting that viper buff and then going straight to um challengers that was rough to watch yeah. man the thing is, is that this necessitates the construction of a tournament realm that is on say, a different yeah. patch than live which yeah. is actually a pretty big job because for example like it would have to have like a like it would probably have a better tick rate for example right like it would have to be server architecture that was built for the express purpose of allowing tournaments to operate on different patches live mm -hmm. that's functionality to my knowledge doesn't really exist i'm quite sure that they like right have like a land server that like a physical box like in a fucking in a road case that they actually will you know take to events that's what blizzard do that's how they had a land server but um yeah like you can't yeah that it fucks the veto the veto process is like a big part of of how teams prepare for for these series so um you know you can't yeah, you can't do this uh unfortunately you just you, you can't do it so i'm glad they reversed it but i think there's like a bigger discussion around that because the people that are making these decisions look no no harm is done but it tells me that if they don't make the right decision the first time that they still have a lot of learning to do and they mm -hmm. still have to understand what it's like to be a player pro player in these positions and in some senses yes. it smacks of a lack of experience so um i want people to be critical of their stewardship of this title because some of the decisions that they have made have indicated that there are some parts of their enterprise that lack experience in this context um and sort of that otherwise these decisions wouldn't be happening so you know I'm glad they changed their mind, but they caused yeah. a lot of undue stress for it. And like, it, it's a lot more work to have to go back and, and fucking change something you announced publicly. So let's yeah. just try and get it right the first time. Um, the uh, trophy's been revealed. Uh, <laughs> to go on a much lighter note, I guess. Uh, here it is. <laughs> so I've never is... seen a trophy like that. Yeah, it looks like... I have. Yeah? Where... Yeah, I, I just got to find a, the three other stones right now in the fucking fifth element. Yeah, yeah, it's it's <laughs> I mean oh, I assume so it, it is it is you know the cross section is square, right? It's not just like a yeah, some people like it looks like a graphics card. I guess that's fair. It's very I think um Valorant is very good at getting this sort of um this sort of postmodern industrial vibe kind of thing going on, you know what I mean? Like it's all shipping containers and like new age tech and stuff like that. I'm talking shit about it, but I love it. I actually it's like it's Raina's it. lipstick, right? It's not ugly, but it's not like, oh my god, it's the dopest. It's like, oh, it's cool. Yeah, I think it's fucking dope to be honest. I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. The reason why I'm saying that is probably because before every single one of us saw that picture, we all imagined something that was really big and vibrant and out there and cool looking, right? But then we got something that was simplistic with a little bit of cool look to it. You know what I'm saying? So the that's not what we expect. It's very Valorant. It's very, very, very valid. Valid. yeah. Um, like there, there would be nothing too. It would nothing over the top. Nothing too it. traditional. Nothing too too like gaudy, right? Nothing yeah. too gaudy no. at all. Yeah. As as a tangent, as a tangent, Veli, do you have sound going through your headphones? Because I feel like every time you want to speak up and you want to hear yourself, you're like taking your headphone out so that you, you know can why? hear yourself speak. So just put the sound just, through your fucking ears, side, bro. Put, put some side tone on, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I got you, man. Damn. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the just IT guy with you, here too. I'm the IT guy. I know someone was gonna notice one day, but yeah, keep talking about the trophy. Uh, game. <laughs> all right. Well, I mean, do you have a do you have a Go XLR, Billy? Um, 
no. So I went and brought this focus right thingy. Yeah. Yeah, you could give me side I tone. See it, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, absolutely. if you yeah. have a Scarlet, you should have side tone, but you have to plug a headset into the Scarlet itself. Is that what, are you not doing that? I oh, know he just him muted now. himself now. <laughs> turn off, he's just turned off his. Uh, he's just turned off his focus. Right. I do it during the break. <laughs> okay. Oh, anyway, man. Uh, that that's. By the way, for those that don't know, commentators love side tone. We love being able to hear our voice because our voice yeah. sounds very different through our jawbone than it does through uh, headsets. So yeah, yeah, exactly. Using side tone is one way to preserve our voice and to make sure that we're actually, especially if we're in an arena, is to make sure that we are, our voice is where it needs to be because yeah. sometimes you, can, you can't hear yourself and that's a big problem. Anyway, let's move oh, wow. on. <laughs> I love we you, Billy. Um, <laughs> are Fnatic already in Reich, uh, Reykjavik? Are they already, already there? Uh, I know that uh, there's teams. Ooh. Yeah, okay. So, oh, are they going to Malta? Fuck off. Yeah. Fucking show Lit. offs. They're gonna go meet Sponge and Machine and hang out for a bit before they go yeah. to. Yeah. Uh... Yeah. The bloody the Lanshin. They're going yeah. to the Lanshin. What the I don't Lanshin. get is that they they uh, well, Fnatic has a facility in Shoreditch in London. So why are they going to? I mean, Malta fucking owns. So I hear it's fucking gorgeous. <laughs> but why but not? They, uh, listen, Yo, that doesn't bring, sound like somewhere you go for a boot camp, though. You know bring what I mean? the fucking morale up, dude. You just fucking qualify to Iceland, and then you go to Malta, get some sun boot camp, bring the spirits Uber, up, and then Uber. come into Iceland. Uh, it could be when you travel restrictions, right? Like COVID stuff. Yeah, you true, saw, true. you saw those CS videos where like the the players have these, you know, they're in these nice places mansions with all these beautiful women around them to boot camp this is a new era of boot camping man you go to somewhere nice and exotic and live it up in malta no offense but i don't think any of fanatic have really the time or wherewithal to to a attract <laughs> such true. uh members of their preferred sex um but apparently your travel corridors is the reason obviously t spark and chat is actually maltese so you can explain this for us so yeah they're in a mansion can't confirm the ladies but yeah so there are travel corridors with no quarantine in malta right now which sort of makes sense so i mean that's a great way for that team to be able to get together because i'm pretty sure guys like magnum and, and Durker and stuff um they're not all in the uk yet i think only like the core of that fanatic team are uh so they're called maltese really oh. they're maltese people yeah um so like yeah that's chocolate. um yeah like maltesers but not quite yeah, the same yeah those are so good <laughs> No, that's fine. I mean, yeah. to be fair, it's it's you know, a nice country, but not exactly at the forefront of global sort of news all the time. But uh, I, I'd love to visit there. You call Maltese people. I, people. Do you want to do you want to hear do you want to hear uh, some insights here? Because I think Dapper is a little scared about Iceland. Let's hear what he had to say because uh, he clearly he clearly has only the most reliable information. It's like a jail. I'm pretty sure it's like a jail, bro. They, they bring you food on like plates and shit. Like it's gonna be like a metal plates. They're gonna give us like plastic forks so we don't like kill ourselves or something. It's gonna be like crazy. I swear it's gonna be, they're gonna give me like a lamb head. Like I don't even know what Iceland eats, bro. It's already gonna be like prison. Zip zaps. We actually look, they don't, they don't have DoorDash there guys. They don't have, they don't have McDonald's. They don't have Starbucks in Iceland, bro. They look, all of Iceland, they don't have a Starbucks. Sounds what like the a first fuck world did kind I of just thing. Watch. They don't have DoorDash or Starbucks. It's a prison. You know, we don't really have Starbucks in Australia. Either. Sounds privileged. Okay, so first Fucking of all, prison. I get the impression that Dapper comes from a pretty affluent background. I don't know if anyone can <laughs> confirm that for me. He's but a I'm pretty sure. I, I, I'm pretty sure like. I saw something like. I'm pretty sure I saw him asking um, Shazam for like a weekend off scrim so he could go to fucking Carbo. So. Um, yeah I, yeah okay so first of all um i don't what i've seen from the teams at msi is that they're pretty they're pretty happy with the with the setup out there i think it's i think they're they're chilling yeah. where does he come up with this 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 metal plate plastic cutlery malarkey what, what, I think he's watching another land that's happening right now in esports is he talking about he is he talking about the uh the six invitational value <laughs> Cause that sounds more like it. <laughs> oh, Uber, you can introduce this if you want, but yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> this, so you, you have MSI and then you have what you're looking at now. And the players oh. got Modi food and it, it wasn't the best, right? And it sucks. And this isn't me That's talking shit breakfast. about them. This mm. is. It's this very is, European. Yeah. Yeah. If this is Europe. I lived in Europe for a year. This is not European. This it's is Paris, <laughs> though. No, uh, uh, dude, I went. I went to uh, esports I, World Cup in two thousand and seven. Uncle eats better in jail. <laughs> dude, I, I went to esports World Cup in two thousand and seven, and I landed on a Sunday at three p.m. and everything was fucking closed except for a bakery. So 
all of us bought fucking baguettes and we're eating baguettes and no no uh-huh. pate no no cold cuts just a fucking loaf of bread it was even Entity was there. So Entity was playing for Team Canada back then, too, because he was part of that roster. But yeah, That's not a standard. That's not a standard. That's not a standard. You guys need to okay. understand one thing, though. The people at MSI haven't seen any complaints at all, even from exactly. the talent that's there. Um, this is a one-off in regards to COVID because whether you guys want to believe it or not, this is not the first, second, or third COVID land bubble that has been going on, but it is the first one that has food like that. But yeah. So... <laughs> just just for just for your information the quality of life in iceland is considered to be extremely high is it better extremely than high the cost of living is very expensive yeah because you got to import everything yeah but yeah. Their, their safety their health care their traffic their pollution levels all that stuff uh, the purchasing power is also really quite good so um i think on a scale of zero to 240 it's like 177 um in general so that's wow yeah, I, I I don't know what the fuck Dap is talking about. And also, by the way, can we just say, who fucking cares about your Starbucks cunt? Like, <laughs> hey, just, just, fuck? just drink a different coffee. Like, fuck me, I'm drinking the shit. Do you think I'm married to this stuff? Like, I don't know. I, 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 he's trolling. I, I think he's trolling. Of course, it sounds, of course. It sounds super entitled. I don't really, I don't really, I honestly, like, okay, so there's on one end, here's what I thought was insane. <laughs> Derry, Holt, Desert Chew, was tweeting about the Rainbow Six stuff. Like, oh, these guys are complaining about nothing. You know, they just need to suck it up. Derry, you're a dickhead. Yeah, like, Derry's the conditions a dumbass absolutely for that one. fucking awful, mate. Like, you're talking shit. Like, no, is back in my day, I had to walk to Paris for my tournaments through the snow up here. Like, listen, mate, like, they have moldy food and stuff. Like, you cannot say that this is acceptable. But he's trying to say that, I think. Um, that is the other end of the spectrum that's a little bit too far. Yeah. But if we meet in the middle and realize that, yeah, like, if you're in a different, if you're in Europe, like, it's not going to be like what you're used to. I lived in Germany for three years. It was really inconvenient for me to live in Germany for three years. I didn't speak the language very well. The food was different. Everything was expensive. Like, like it, was, it was just fucking different. But I'm sorry. Like, fucking suck it up. I mean, you're going to play a LAN. There are still going to be social distancing requirements, especially for you, who, as far as I know, didn't get a shot when you could. I literally saw you tweet about it. And then you said, oh, fuck, I think I've got COVID. Wow, fuck me dead, bro. What a shot. Yeah. Oh, wow. No, I, 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 you've, got, you've got, you've got great point. eyebrows, Dapper, and you're fucking good at the game. But Jesus Christ, that was a torrent of, <laughs> uh, was a torrent of excrement that just ejected from your mouth. I, I just think he's just very good at helping people create fucking topics in the subreddit uh, of Valorant Competitive. I, I think it's mostly that. How old okay. is Dapper really, though? I mean, we're, we're talking boy. about... Exactly, young blood, going young blood. overseas by himself, you know, quarantining in a hotel. This is something that he's never even thought about doing in life. So I expect over exaggeration from him. Shit's good <laughs> just, content. Though. He seems like a rich kid. I'm telling you. He, he just, oh, one million percent. I, yeah. I would sell him a gram for fifty. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> and then put put I mean, it. In I a, don't put sell. parsley in a bag. Oh, exactly. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ! <bro. laughs> this this the good shit. Yeah, parsley in a bag, fifty bucks. Like it's it's cool it's cool. Um, Dapper recently tweeted a picture, um, which is a bit scary. Uh, I mean, if you're a Sentinels fan, I don't really care personally, but uh, yeah, he tweets the Pepe Hopium uh picture. Oh, so that seems a little bit concerning. I think everyone is sort of monitoring this as it goes because he um, yeah, he's. He tweeted like it's good to forget. I don't know. It's a bunch of shit. You know what I mean? So it seems like poor guy. I'm 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 shitting on him right now. Uh, and he's obviously going through some stuff. I mean, shouldn't have shouldn't have said dumb shit. But still, uh, hopefully <laughs> everything's okay. We'll, we'll try. If if we look, if anything comes hopefully. up in the show, we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll tell you. But here you go. Uh, Berlin announced for uh, Masters three. I uh, hear. Oh, here's this here. anyway. Here you go. So this is. I mean, that's a bit concerning. What the fuck? <laughs> What's going on with this guy? Like, why is he? Why has he changed his fucking his picture to? I want to know Craig? what the hopium is, man. I, I'm actually I wasn't even looking at our, our VMix call because I'm just staring at his wall too. Right. I'm trying to figure out what's happening. Again, hopefully it's nothing that's super serious as well, right? So yeah, yeah. I really hope they're all right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, a bit concerning. I don't know what that that's about, but um, hopefully he personally is okay. Just mm-hmm. because I shit on him on this podcast doesn't mean I you know I don't want good things for him. All right, so yeah, again, Masters Three has its venue announced, Berlin. Is going to be the location. Ah, 
convenient location considering that uh riot actually have uh, an entire studio there and also like half their company that makes sense so <laughs> berlin is going to be the location for masters three that's sick another a big valorant land in europe i mean berlin fucking owns a uh, mm. little dirty at times a little bit unclean in some places pretty pretty quite a smorgasbord of different cultures sort of mashed together and uh you know travel together also probably a bit of a, a hotbed for for covid as of late but still, I mean, it is, uh, it's, a, it's a really, it's a fantastic city overall and a great place to, uh, to be holding an event like this. So kudos. I can't wait. Let's go to Bergheim. I'm never getting to Bergheim, bro. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you need to have it, like you need to turn up with like missing a limb or something to, to sort of distinguish yourself enough to get into Bergheim. But yeah, Berlin's, I've Berlin's heard pretty wild. I've stories about Germany just in general, man. And the fact that we're even going to be able to go there and have another Valorant international land it's fucking sick. But I really like the fact that they're using it. I, they're, I'm assuming you're going to use an LEC studio, right? Like, obviously. Most likely. Most that likely. shit's well, going to be a fucking banger. Ma ma maybe not, but yeah. I mean, it, it, either way, a lot of their infrastructure is already in the city. So mm -hmm. they don't have to I use the, L the LEC studio. Because the LEC studio is not that big. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't house a very big crowd. It, it, it has a very... Uh, it has like a comedy night, not a comedy night feel. Like what it's got more people than that. But. but I think if you have a bit of those people, uh, no, of the people, like some of the talent, if it doesn't fit anybody there, you house a bit at the studio, you house a bit at the well, venue. Stuff better, like than, better than fucking Paris, boys. Uh, let's, yeah. let's be honest. Yeah. Better yeah. than fucking Paris. But you know, like you could have in like in, yeah, there's, there's a bunch of places like in Ernze, in like um, in, in Denmark. There's a great location there as well. Obviously, you could do it in, in, in Sweden as well. But um yeah they there's like a big arena out, out there yeah the Mesa. um wait dude with the nose says the sickest part of germany is every cab being a bmw audi or a Benz. are you serious because yeah. they're cheap there they're actually mm -hmm. like you're they're German your every cars, man's bro. car over there yeah. yeah they're like honda civics out they're there the honda civics, dude. sick yeah yeah, okay. yeah exactly They'll, yeah exactly so like a lot yeah i mean that's pretty everybody normal, tries but... a golf i like it yeah, like well, no, a lot of them have like have like v, v, like hotted up VWs or like Benz compressors and stuff like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean the autobahn has no speed limit as well on some parts, so there's True. actually a reason to have fast cars out there. Uh, although you still shouldn't speed on the autobahn. But I, I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, yes. Look, our producer Ian's obsessed with this, so we're gonna go back and talk about it. I skipped <laughs> over it here, but did you guys hear the volcano erupted in Reykjavik and there were no survivors? They all got died. None. This is the whole real, place by got flat. It's Pompeii 2.0. <laughs> so, uh, what, how, how does that song? I was love to oh, my yeah, own. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Bastille uh, song, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. The walls came tumbling, tumbling down. down the and the city. The city yeah. right, anyway, so and that, that by like, the way, I, I'm actually happy there's no Starbucks or McDonald's there because that looks fucking beautiful. Yeah. It I think, does. listen. You'll be able to find coffee there, no problem. You just won't be able to get your fucking nitro cold brew with the double added shot of caffeine with Probably the soy. Probably can, and it's and a lot better. Starbucks is overrated anyway. Yes, it's gonna, be, it's all... gonna be filtered with pure water, dude. It's gonna be fucking amazing. Did Ryan Central say something interesting in the chat? It's in the Verdi Music Hall. Okay, he actually had something legitimate to add. There you go. So <laughs> that, the, the venue's already been, in, so it's not gonna be at the LEC Studios, which makes sense. Thanks, Ryan. Oh, it's not. No. Thanks, Ryan. See you in a bit. <laughs> so that, that's, that's what I was saying. Are they are they gonna like premiere like the new European studio or just a makeshift? That's something I'm really interested. No, in. what? A new, no, what? No, Has no. there been an announcement about a new studio? No, Ryan no, gave no. a spot. Yeah, Ryan... who, who announces surprises? Ryan said it's in I'm an hopeful. auditorium called the Vertical Something Something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? yeah oh. The Vertical it's... Music Hall. You fucks! I literally just said that after he got Don Award saying that the Verdi Music. Yeah, sorry, we don't know all of you. Jesus yes. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so I, I would be very excited. Also, you should try the fermented fish head in Iceland if you guys can. Uh, yeah, no, thanks. Definitely, you should definitely get around that one, mate. You look like you weren't born with a silver spoon in your mouth at all.